folks, this is Ali Nasse, and I'm here today in my kitchen trying to demonstrate a novel motion in endodontics called the single stroke and clean technique or single stroke and clean motion. My goal here is to demonstrate how endodontic files have been used the wrong way over the past 20 years, the rotary files, and that a new motion is required to make them more effective and efficient. And in order to understand that, we need to think of our endodontic files like spoons. So a spoon has a concave area, which would be akin to the chip space in your endodontic rotary file. And then it has these little border parameters, which we're going to think of as the blades of your endodontic file. For my analogy, I have two bowls, one full of sugar and then an empty one. And the goal here is to think of the sugar as the dentinal chips that are going to be cut with the file. And then the goal is what to do with these dentinal chips. Obviously, your goal is to transfer these chips from inside the root canal to outside the root canal. Traditionally, what we have done, the motion that has been intuitive to many dentists for some reason, has been to go inside the, the, the canal, engage the dentin, cut some debris, and then that's one stroke, and then do multiple strokes, and essentially all they've done, have just displaced the dentin, they've cut the dentin, but they have released the dentin, the dentinal chips, inside the canal, which is the reason why a tremendous amount of irrigation has been necessary, as well as the fact that all the loose debris has caused blocking and has caused a post-operative pain due to the debris being dislodged and pushed out the apex. I have a new way of thinking about this and it is very intuitive to anyone who's used a spoon. If you want to transfer the sugar from one bowl to the other, what you would do intuitively would be to basically take one spoonful of sugar and then after that one stroke, just take the spoon to the other bowl and empty it. And then take another stroke fill it up, go to, it, to the other bowl and empty it, and so on and so forth, until the entire content of the bowl has been replaced, uh, has been moved to the other bowl. In endodontics, in the past, we've always done this motion of going in there and taking one, two, three, multiple motions in order to fill a 